I'm John Landis, and this is Trailers from Hell. Wait, I'm not John Landis. The reason I said I was John Landis is because John Landis was going to do this trailer that I'm going to do now uh, for the ineffably titled Bride of the Gorilla. I mean, when they're selling a picture called Bride of the Gorilla, you can kind of tell really what they're selling. Bride of the Gorilla. I mean, it, it doesn't leave much room for doubt. Anyway, for whatever reason, John um, had to go make a movie. And so he didn't do it. So I'm going to do it. So here's the skinny on Bride of the Gorilla. This is The Face in the Water, which was the original title of the script that Kurt Seod Mack wrote for him to make his directorial debut. A finished movie under the title Bride of the Gorilla is only slightly better than its title suggests. The big draw was 24-year-old bad girl Barbara Payton on loan-out suspension from Warner Brothers, punished by Jack Warner for, quote, fucking everybody on the lot. Her previous co-star had been Gregory Peck. Her co-star in this picture is Steve Calvert in a gorilla suit. The first-time director, Seod Mack, whose hopeless ambition was to outdo his well-established director brother, Robert, saw this as a Luton-esque chiller in which the audience never knows whether the ape is real or a figment of the hero's tortured imagination. Cheapo producer Jack Broder had more conventional ideas, and so Bride of the Gorilla is what we've got. Having written the classic Wolfman, Seod Mack considered Lon Chaney to play the Wolfman-like lead, who seems to turn into an ape courtesy of a native curse. But in the end, a hard-up Raymond Burr took the lead, and Chaney was miscast as a jungle cop. For all his good work on the scripts of Golden Era Universal Pictures, Seod Mack never amounted to much as a director, and Bride of the Gorilla, with its mismatched cast and potted palm sets, is notable only as the first step in Barbara Payton's descent into the B-movie jungle. Tabloid troubles with booze, drugs, and men eventually led to a swift downfall, including being booked for prostitution. It's a story worthy of James Elroy. And you can read it in Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye, the Barbara Payton story by John O'Dowd. Payton is actually pretty good in this and quite sexy. Raymond Burr was eternally grateful to her when the producers turned him down for being too bulky, and she threatened to walk unless he was given a week to hole up in a hotel room to fast off the weight. For years, Burr tried to return the favor by getting her a guest shot on his Perry Mason series, but by then her reputation had caught up with her, and she was deemed uninsurable and unemployable. Mm -hmm. 